We all love our canine companions and their mental health is extremely important to us. So one thing you need to ask yourself before getting a dog of any sort is how often will I be leaving my dog alone? Not all breeds do well by themselves and some need a lot of attention throughout the day or they'll become stressed. This sort of stress from being alone is known as separation anxiety and it can lead to unwanted and often destructive behaviours. Today, we'll be taking a look at the gigantic Newfoundland. These dogs were made to work and help their people with daily labour. But the question on our minds today is do Newfoundlands get separation anxiety? Welcome back to the Fenrir Newfoundland channel. My name is Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Newfoundlands, then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Newfoundlands. So if you're a lifelong Newfoundland lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Newfoundland, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Newfoundland video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll see if Newfoundlands do in fact get separation anxiety. To understand if a dog is prone to getting separation anxiety or not, we need to first understand separation anxiety itself. Separation anxiety is a clinical disorder that needs to be diagnosed by a veterinary behaviourist. It's very different from a dog who gets upset when you leave them for the day and then relaxes. Separation anxiety causes canines to participate in destructive behaviours and behaviours that have the potential to cause harm to the dog. Dogs with separation anxiety may pour at the door until they bleed or knock things down onto themselves in a panic. They may also howl, drool or sweat excessively. Housebroken dogs may even urinate or defecate in the house. While we aren't certain entirely what causes a dog to be more or less prone to separation anxiety, we know some things that can make it worse or cause a canine to start experiencing it. A dog may develop separation anxiety after things like being returned to the shelter, a large shift in routine, a death in the family, or experiencing something frightening while home alone at a young age. Many also believe it's partially caused by a genetic predisposition. Now, let's take a look at the Newfoundland. These dogs were originally bred to work with their leaders. The earliest appearance of the Newfoundland has them helping fishermen with pulling nets in or pulling carts loaded with wood and other resources or goods. They're a working breed and as such need a lot of physical and mental exercise. Though Newfoundlands can be quite lazy when left to their own devices, but that's another video. All of that working breed energy means that they'll want to be with their families as much as possible and they'll want to be active and involved with them. So yes, Newfoundlands are prone to separation anxiety, more so than some other breeds due to their high energy levels and need to be around their family. They can become quite anxious quite easily when everyone is away for long periods of time. Hey guys, really quick message. I just wanted to let you know that we have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. It's where I've boiled down and condensed all of my skill set, experience and knowledge in raising perfect puppies into this mini course. Like I say, it is completely free. If you are interested in checking it out or just want some more information there'll be a link in the description box below and if you are interested I can't wait to speak to you over there as well. Though it's important to be able to identify the difference between a bored Newfoundland and an anxious Newfoundland. The signs can be quite similar in some cases and can be confusing to differentiate between. A bored Newfoundland may dig, chew or otherwise become destructive once left alone for too long. This is because Newfoundlands were bred to work and boredom can and will overtake if they're left without a task or guidance for too long. A Newfoundland suffering from boredom may counter surf in order to help themselves to some extra treats. A Newfoundland suffering from separation anxiety will not be focused enough to perform a linear and deliberate task. They'll panic as soon as they're left alone which can lead to damage in the house and injury to the dog. The damage can look very similar but isn't the same. The Newfoundland who's just bored may choose one area to dig in or one item to ruin such as the sofa. The one suffering from separation anxiety may claw at the front door until they're bleeding or knock over furniture while pacing or running anxiously. This is an exceptional hazard in the case of the Newfoundland due to their massive size. They don't always remember how large they are and accidents can happen more readily in a panicked state. Thankfully there are ways to help our beloved canines overcome such a horrible fear of being home alone. As always, it's best to start training as early as possible. The earlier training starts, the more successful it will be. It's important to start with short absences when teaching a dog that it's okay to be alone. As long as they don't become distressed, you can increase the amount of time you're away. 
This will help your puppy acclimatise to being alone in a non-scary fashion and they will know that you'll come back even if it takes some time. Regular exercise and training is also important to help curb separation anxiety. A dog that's worn out won't have as much energy to go running around and getting into things accidentally or otherwise. If you know you're going to be away for a period of time your dog isn't comfortable with, it's a good idea to check out a reputable daycare, pet sitter or walker to take care of them while you're away. And always, always check with your vet if you're worried about your dog's well-being. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure to hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget that if you're new here, make sure you've subscribed as we've had two dedicated Newfoundland videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Newfoundland Show.